Returning to the Playhouse uh, after this 18-month hiatus from the stage uh, has been life-saving in more ways than I could possibly uh, articulate. It's gotten me out of bed, out of my house. It's breathed new life into me. Um, I hope that my fellow castmates will, uh, will feel the same way and certainly the, uh, the patrons in the house watching us play on stage uh, will share that sentiment as well. It's a real honor to return to live theater. I did about five Zoom productions, but I didn't find them extremely fulfilling. There's nothing like the sound of an audience responding in the moment to both the pathos and the comedy. Just to experience the show with us, you just can't get that on screen. I got a little anxious about being close to people, but it feels so good to be able to be around people and show your whole face and see their whole face and get all of the expressions. I, and I have to say, I do still feel anxious when I go into the lobby, but it feels, feels good. It feels good to be on stage with people and freely talking, expressing myself. For me, coming here is coming home. My first audition was in this theater over 30 years ago. Um, I met my wife at that audition. We were married in this building in 1992. We renewed our vows in 2002 in this building, and we were so fortunate to have Marcus Walker, Walker um, officiate both. Um, so again, it's coming home. Um, it's really been uh, a great pleasure to come back into a place that's um, been so welcoming to me in the past before, and I, I think that's one of the strongest attributes of this theater in this larger Pacific Northwest community. So opening night, I went home, took a shower, and I literally wept with joy in the shower. Like that, that just sums up the experience just because I've missed home and the stage is my home and this is what I love to do. So it's just always fun to get back to doing what you love to do.